Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about if one of your headlights isn't working, uh, if you have Xenon headlights or HIDs, uh, one of the common causes could be your light ballast may have gone out. One of the first things I did when I noticed my passenger headlight wasn't working is I went ahead and I swapped out both of the headlights. I put the passenger on the driver's side and the driver's side on passenger side. And what I found out was the passenger light bulb that was originally out worked on the driver's side. So that led me to believe that it could be the light ballast and I'm hoping that when I replace that part today, that will be the issue that it was. Uh, in the past, this has happened before, whether it's a faulty defective product or maybe cheap products, who knows. I went ahead and I got a light ballast on Amazon and just arrived today and I'm gonna be installing it and hopefully this solves the problem. All right, so this is the product I ordered from Amazon. Came shipped in a little bag there. Uh, this is not, I don't think it is an OEM product. Oh look, they even, that was actually in the description, but I didn't think it actually came with one. So that's kind of cool, but I shouldn't need it because my headlights work. So this right here is the light ballast that we will be replacing today. I will need to remove my bumper and I'll show you how to do that on a 2014 Mercedes-Benz CLA 250. Let's open this product up. So right off the bat, you can see a simple uh, three screws. This is gonna be mounted on the bottom side of the headlight. To access the headlight, we're gonna have to remove the bumper. You can see it's just a simple plug and play. You plug that part in and screw it in. Make sure your gasket's nice and tight to keep moisture out. And that should be it. The process itself is actually easy. It's just more of a pain in the butt to remove the bumper. I hadn't truly seen too many videos of this out there, so I thought I'd make a video for it. Let's go out to the car and check it out. All right, so I'm gonna give you a job overview on this project. It was really windy when I shot this footage, so I'm just doing a voiceover. There's gonna be two screws, one there and one there on each side of the car. Both of those screws come in from the bottom, screwed in through the top. And the way that we're gonna access them is through the wheel well. We're going to turn our wheels the opposite direction than the side we're gonna do. Make sure to have a universal joint or fitting on hand. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure you have a large extension and a short extension with a pretty well-functioning ratchet. And right here I'm just talking about the two screws are there as well. There's a plastic trim held together by some plastic um, pins. I do have a trim removal kit and some extra pins just in case I end up breaking one or losing one. I have spares on hand. And yeah, right here, I'm just pretty much showing where we're gonna be going in through. We're gonna turn our wheels to the driver's side so we can access this area. And we'll be able to get to the two bolts that are actually in there. On the top of the bumper, there are five T25 screws and I believe I and throughout the video I end up finding two more so there may be seven T25 screws and the same thing on this trim it's just held together by plastic pins now we're gonna remove the bumper so that we can access the headlight and remove the headlight and underneath the headlight is actually where you will find the light ballast so that's what I'm pretty much saying here to remove the headlight you do need to drop the bumper Okay, so for these little clips right here on the side trim, I have this tool. I'm actually going to try it out right now. Slide it underneath. And just give it a squeeze. Pops it out effortlessly. And now that's loose. There's also one that I already popped out right here. So I have one, two. There's a little clip right here. You just pop that up and that whole piece comes up like that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. To allow yourself enough room to work, make sure to turn your wheels facing the opposite direction than the side you're working on. Now under here in the well, 
in the wheel well, right where these two pieces meet, there will be a little clip that you need to remove to give you access. All right, so this is my setup. I have a smaller extension, a longer extension, a universal uh, fitting, and a 10 millimeter socket. Now there's, you can see right here, there's one right here and one right here. All it is is, it, I think it's like a Phillips head screwdriver uh, screw, but it also has the outside edges so you can put a socket wrench on it. And so it's screwed in this way. So I'm gonna come in from underneath, connect on there, unscrew it out, unscrew it out, and then this whole piece should fall off. Okay, so I already moved that side. After that, all you gotta do is pop it out. Come out over here on this side, pop that part off using a T25 Torx screwdriver to remove all these five screws, I believe it is. Right here on the corner, there actually was one more T25 screw there. And over here on this side, you pull that up, there's one more right there. After that, you just give it a good grip and you start pulling it down. Right now would be a good time to go in there and clean all the bugs off. Okay, so this is the headlight we're gonna be working on. There's gonna be three screws, T25 Torx. There's gonna be one right here, one right here. There's gonna be a third one down underneath the bumper. Right. This will also be a good time to show you the screws that I was talking about. Where the bumper, it had two screws, one, two, and actually they did not even have the Phillips head, it was just a bolt. Basically, it goes through the bumper and it screws right in here, just like that. That's all it was. Uh, don't forget to remove your power source from your headlight. I have my headlight off right here. The power source is connected right back here. And your headlight ballast is underneath the headlight. So if you are looking at the headlight and you go underneath it, that's where your ballast will be. And you can see that's probably why mine went off. You can see all that mud and moisture right there probably ruined it. So we're going to replace that right now. So I just removed the three screws from this headlight ballast. These were not T25, they were T15 size screws. And all you have to do from here is just pop it up. And that's it.